What's up? I'm Shane. Welcome to Smosh Mouth. And I'm Amanda, and we have a very, very special guest today. Keith mm-hmm. O'Brien Leak the second. Mm-hmm. The Irish Keith O'Brien Leak the second. Yeah. Keith just told me his full name, and I had no idea. Mm-hmm. And um, I had no idea. See, look, you learn something new every day. Yes. Um, years ago, I learned that I was Irish. <laughs> well, kind of. Um, so I went <laughs> to a family reunion in North Carolina where the Leak family resides. And they were like, the Leak family came from Ireland and blah, blah, blah. I don't know the year because I was younger, but I was just like, oh, my God, I am white. <gasps> so that's I thought I was white for a little bit. And then I, the more research I did, I was like, oh, well, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> kind of looked in the mirror a couple times. I'm like, I'm not looking white today. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot, a lot yeah, of melanin should, for a white yeah. guy. <laughs> sometimes it's the lighting in the room. You know, you know I do look light skinned sometimes. But like, y'all yeah, don't. Um. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> We're both just like. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Ireland is a cool place to visit. Oh my god, I should go there. I should do like birthright. Wait, you should. Um, <laughs> they don't do birthright there, Draz. I'm just just show up Irish. to Ireland and be like, look, I'm just tapping into my ancestry. Absolutely. And they'd be like, <laughs> and they're like, you, mate. They're like, all right, you. here's a Guinness. Oh <laughs> if you said O'Brien, though, the thing is, O'Brien is like a huge Irish last name. Also, Leak is as well. I don't really? know if it's a big one, but leek is an Irish. Uh, they do name. eat leeks there. Really? No. Why would you uh, say? It's spelled <laughs> differently. <laughs> Keith, you know I'm Irish, so maybe uh, we're related. We might be cousins. I yeah. always felt like you kind of looked like me a little bit. I felt that way too. You did? <laughs> where, where? Like I can kind of see. <laughs> where? <laughs> Yeah, where? <laughs> where? I can kind of see it in like the the, the muscles and stuff. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, the mass. Mm-hmm. We yeah. got some of the mat the mass. Sorry, I, I thought you were talking about my cancer. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. So glad oh we started god. like this. Oh my we've god, started, we've this started is great. So well. I missed you guys. I missed, missed you. you. I'm yeah. here. I'm here. You're here mm-hmm. and you're Irish. All of that. And we're Irish. And you know, my original <laughs> last name was O'Lehane. Is that Irish? Yes, but they cut off the O and the E when um, my family apparently landed here. So, and so my last name is Lehan. So you you were taken here. Too. Yeah, it was taken. <laughs> Where's the Canto? Is that is that Canto's like, Portuguese? Okay, but Lehan Canto is your full last name, or is that so? Like it's Lehan is Lehan is my dad's Irish last name. Okay. And then Canto is my papa's last name, my mom's maiden name. Wow. So I combined oh. those two. Is that just a personal choice by you? Personal choice. Oh, yep. cool. So my real last name was Lehan forever, mm-hmm. and then I added on Canto. Oh, that's fun. Celebrate. Like legally? Uh, actor legally. <laughs> just like so it's, it's kind of an actor. SAG legally. Yes, there nice. we go. There yeah, pretty go. much. But it's yes. like, it's me celebrating both sides. That's fun. That's yeah. awesome. And everyone's just like, oh my God, your husband. Got a day, Lehan Kento. I'm like, no, it's a totally different last name. I love his last name, but it's just so I I cannot. Oh my three god, I cannot be Lehan Kanto Petapechka. Oh my god, I would be Petapechka. Petapechka. I would be Keith oh. O'Brien Johnson Leak the second. Johnson. Johnson. Where's the wow. Johnson come in? Yeah, where oh, is oh, the my, mom, my mom's? Where is the Johnson? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about the Johnsons. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about those. Hey, but look, beyond that, we're all cousins. Yeah, we're all exactly. Irish. We're all, all Irish. Like... Irish people. Yes. Oh my God. Here Power go. to the people. Woo. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about spring break like white people do. Yeah. Let's go, white people. Woo. Wait, I wish we knew the origin of spring break. Who made I don't up know. spring break? I think it was just because like schools have spring break. Mm-hmm. So they just started doing that. I also feel like it was very much a 90s thing. Maybe I'm wrong. Because the 90s, it just felt like that's where you heard about spring mm, break so much. Like MTV's spring I was spring just going to say, remember MTV? Like, was it Carson Daly who was hosting? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. I was absolutely. obsessed with their mm-hmm. spring break. That shit was mm-hmm. huge. Did, okay, so this is my black side coming out. Okay. So did you okay. ever guys watch? Did Welcome. you guys ever? Did you, come on, guys, follow me here. <laughs> um, did you guys ever watch the BET version of Spring Break? Bring Spring Break. Spring Break. It was called BET Spring Bling. Wait a second. I never watched either. Like I didn't watch MTV's <laughs> Spring Break stuff. I didn't watch. 
I was lame. Wait I, a I'm second. I'm not watching no. party really? stuff. No. What? Oh, I was on. addicted to MTV. Like Elvis. I didn't watch. I didn't watch much MTV. <gasps> okay. I, really? I, I I feel like. What did you do during spring break? I didn't do anything. I know. Really? His parents. <laughs> <laughs> oh my well, God. I did also. I didn't go to high school, so I wasn't doing spring. Oh, uh, true, true. So but was... nobody's really doing spring break in high school. Spring break is for when like you... a college. You, you did it. Spring break was a huge thing on the East Coast. Wow, in high sense. school. Whoa. Whoa, I went on sp- every. Where kid. would you go? Wow. So every kid went on spring break at a certain age. Even the school helped us get travel agents to help us with our spring oh break. Oh my God. Trip. That's yep. insane. Every every sister of mine went on spring break. It was like a rite of Whoa. passage. So I went on spring break when I was 16. Yeah, it was me, eight, of, eight or nine of my friends. Seven of them were dudes. <laughs> and the other one was like my best friend at the time. <laughs> Who was okay. a chaperone? Nobody. What? Nobody was a chaperone. That uh, is not okay. <laughs> Nobody was a chaperone. Corona extra. <laughs> <laughs> we did not. We did not have a chaperone. Oh my That's god! Insane. It was just a thing that you did. Like it was. It wasn't weird. Everyone was wow. like, "Yeah, where are you going for spring break when you turn blah blah blah?" And it was like, "Oh, I went to NASA Bahamas." What? Yes. That- Oh my God! I have the history of spring break. Oh, oh Selena has the history about, of spring break. We should talk about break. the history of spring break. Okay, so it began in 1938. 1938? <laughs> what the? Jeez, settlers of Ireland. I feel like it was. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, sir, please, with a swim forum event in Fort Lauderdale. Swim mm. forum in Fort Lauderdale. Whoa. Okay, so spring break started in 1938. You know, back then it was just like, ah, oh, we'll go down to the old watering hole. <laughs> yeah, there was a swim forum in Fort Lauderdale. Kids and like uh, students would come down, and then that's when businesses would make alcohol cheap. Oh. Yes, that's that's so that's Florida. Make alcohol cheap. So you know what's messed up because Florida they don't want you to spring break there anymore. Anymore. And they I heard that about that Miami is. that they're like, no, please well, don't. Because they were overdoing it. But have you seen the ads? The uh, ads? There's an ad saying, hey, like, we can't, like, we're breaking up with you. We can't do this anymore. There is a, it's in Florida, they, like, put some ads out where they're pretty much having a breakup with the spring breakers. And they're like, yeah, we can't do this anymore. We don't, we're, we're breaking up with you. Well, that's kind of Florida's hilarious, also hilarious. Mm-hmm. hilarious. Mm-hmm. But also remember when Corona was going around that uh, spring breakers were still going to Miami yeah. and then there were just super spreaders. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, spring breakers are insane. Like, we were insane. <laughs> like, we're insane. <laughs> we're fing crazy. <laughs> I would not want to open up my restaurant or or resort yeah. or whatever. The no. thing is, I feel like with East Coast is that we, since it was cold almost 24-7, yeah. except for three hot months. Like in Massachusetts, <laughs> that spring break was huge, like tropical. Totally. Mm-hmm. So I think Miami was part of it, but like NASA Bahamas, Bahamas was the biggest one. How many I times think. did you go on spring break? I just went once. It's oh, a one once. time thing. Oh. You just you just go like senior year, you go do it? So yeah, you're like a senior year of high school. Like I never did spring break in college. Mm. Like like so so growing up my mom was a teacher so she would always use spring vac- spring break vacation to take us on a trip cuz that's when Got she was you. off. But I never did like spring break until Got I was it. 16 and I only did it once. Wow. Um, and no chaperones. It was just like that's nine of us. Wild. Yeah. I, it's kind of scary. You I, can't do if that I today. if I wasn't an actor kid my parents would have never allowed me to do something like right. that. Right. I think spring break stopped because like bad shit started happening. Oh, like, he's... Natalie Holloway, like it's friggin' dangerous. A lot of those that was the murder in Aruba. She was on spring break with God. her friends. Oh. Here's the thing though. I went with eight dudes. Half of them were on the football team. My mom knew them all. We were all best friends. Mm-hmm. And I went with another girl. I didn't go with nine girls. Yeah. I went yeah, with yeah. big ass dudes who were one was my ex boyfriend. They were all my friends. I felt safe the yeah, entire time, okay, good. but it was still insane. Oh, it's still yeah. super dangerous. Yeah. That's freaking wild. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, as we're talking about partying in general, I just didn't party much at all when I was a teenager. You were mm-hmm. working. Right. True. Yeah, there was, I've talked about this before, but mm-hmm. the reason I didn't was because there was so much stakes of mm-hmm. like, I had this acting career that I was like, that's my goal in life. Yeah. And if, so if I mess up at all, if my, my mom or 
my parents catch me yeah. out partying or something, I could have it all taken away and I have yeah. to go back home and I lose this. So I kind of did it to myself. I wouldn't say that my my parents were I, I wouldn't say that my parents were like overbearing, like you can't go out and party or anything. You were a good kid too. I was a really good kid, yeah. but I was really anxious and like once I started this acting thing, it was just so my sole focus yeah. that I was so nervous. I actually went to a lot of parties though mm -hmm. when I was a teenager. I just didn't. <laughs> he didn't partake. I just didn't. Hello. I really was. Oh, I was also. This I was water. I was also <laughs> awkward as hell, and oh, I, really? I was really insecure and really anxious. And at parties, Aww. I just didn't know how to interact with mm. people. I'm still not not very good at talking to strangers mm -hmm. or like meeting new people. Yeah. I'm really bad at it. But I did go to parties. But I just didn't really. I wasn't partying. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think those. Like. I think you. You have to be pushed in these like really weird social circles and uncomfortable situations when you're a teen and you literally had a career yeah, that you were balancing. Truly. Whereas like we were like, school's out. Mm -hmm. Like, F yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we were yeah. just, we had this space to be free and we didn't have anyone saying like, no, no, no. Exactly. You're going to up if, your life. If I had stayed, if I'd stayed, <laughs> <laughs> if I'd stayed in Arizona and I had gone to high school, I think. I would have been way different. Yeah. Because I would have had bond. nothing to lose. <laughs> I'd have been in Arizona. And honestly, in Arizona, people partied hard because mm -hmm. it's boring as hell. Yeah. There is nothing to I've do. heard. There's, There's not, not a like lot of Irish people in Arizona. <laughs> no. They're all in Massachusetts. <laughs> Drinking away. <laughs> Sorry. Keep going. Uh, no, that's kind of it. Was your spring break, spring break trip cool it as hell? It was so fun. Well, how long were you out? A week. A whole week. A week? Hell fucking yeah. With underage kids. Yes. Oh my. We would walk up and be like, Senor Frogs, which is like a huge, what? a huge bar. Like, there's so many bars that are called Senior Frogs. Oh it's the type God. of bar. It's so lame. The seats, the back of, so it's like long stools. The back of the seats look like you're wearing a big thong. Hell so yes. So when you sit in it, everyone looks like they're wearing thongs. You, do you have pictures? I definitely do. You go there to dance mainly. Like you go there to dance and have fun. But I had my little, I don't even know what type, it was like a Nikon mm -hmm. something camera. Yeah. And I was a, I was like, mm -hmm. it was so fun. We were having, and we were in a all-inclusive resort. It wasn't that expensive, but like we all worked to save up money for this. Oh, okay. Like okay. I, you I worked at Dunkin' it. Donuts. Oh, it was all my own money. Oh, my mom yeah. wasn't like, here's money for spring break. She's like, you need to get a travel agent. You need to get your flights and you need to get money. Uh, otherwise, I couldn't go. Yeah. That that was spring break for me. It wasn't like every kid got it paid for. I think mm -hmm. a lot of the rich kids did. Mm -hmm. But I earned this trip. <laughs> and the all-inclusive resort, it was like, I was with all my friends. Mm -hmm. We were in a huge hotel. Dinner was included. Sounds so cool. Cool. We did do something crazy, though. We killed a man. <laughs> and we, we buried him, and we didn't tell anyone about it. We buried and him. And then the next summer, started getting notes. Oh, my God. <laughs> the next summer, the I, ocean grabbed him, and he's just floating around. <laughs> was that a I know what you did last yeah. summer reference? Yeah, and then Amanda went... <laughs> To Jaws. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know why. You just skipped over that. I love Jaws. <laughs> I also, I love, I know you did last summer, and can I be honest? I tried to rewatch it, and I was like, I can't watch this. <laughs> like, I can't watch it. It was shit. just like Freddie Prince Jr. being like, guys, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you want to watch it, the, the, the best way to go about watching, I know what you did last summer, is watching Scary Movie. <gasps> Yeah. You know those are my favorite movies ever. Mine too. I love scary oh, movies. Yeah. Oh my, my god. Scary movie yeah. too. <laughs> my my chance. <laughs> the amount of times Keith has referenced scary movie too mm -hmm. over the years. I have never mm -hmm. heard you reference that. And it's one of oh. me and my little sister's favorite movies of all oh, time. Oh my god, you can like I'm sure you can quote it with me. Cindy? Cindy. <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> what I love my phone. Like, Cindy, okay? She turns around, she's like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh my what god! What was that making fun of? Uh, that was the ring, but that was the third scary movie. No, no, there's a different. Well, wait. That was the ring. Okay, yeah, but yeah. what was it? It was like Pamela Anderson and Jen. Jen That's, the That's the third one. That's the third one. That's the third one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, ah. 
Yep, yep, and they yep. they ran through yes, naked. Yes, absolutely. I love it. All the scary movies. So we talk about Norbit when concerning me and the movies that I like. Norbit! But, but when I tell you I watch scary movies to this day, like truly, yeah. like actually, and still laugh. And sometimes I'll be texting Noah and I'll say something and he'll know that it's coming from scary movie all the time. Mm -hmm. Like I am a Wayans Brothers like me fanatic. Too. Me like, too. Like they are my favorites. I, I, I used to send my sisters pictures of that where it's like, Cindy, she's like, ah. <laughs> all the fucking time, constantly. She's like, this bitch is messing yeah. up my floor. She's like, messing my floor, Cindy. <laughs> she comes out. She's like, she's like, oh shit. She said, mm-hmm, yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fart all over these walls. I'm gonna shit all over your face. <laughs> she's like, what? <laughs> Too dirty. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love scary we movies. Need to watch it. Oh yeah, I'm so down. I am uh, so down. How do we even get on? Shane, that? do you like scary movies? I haven't seen Scary Movie <laughs> two or three. Oh. <gasps> so I've been sitting here just like, uh, this sounds really funny. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> the the second one starts to go off the rails, but it's still great. Wait, is the second one with my Han camera? Yeah, that's Hanson. That that's Hanson. That one goes off the rails. But it's so good. It's so good. It's like, oh, I, uh, bro, it's joke after joke after joke after joke after. After joke and they it just never stops it never stops the energy's always up there you're like you can't say that anymore but it's still really funny Correct. still really funny I don't, I don't know how we got into this. Sorry. You just got, no, you just it. went in. You just. <laughs> well, you were talking about Jaws, but we were talking about. Oh, yeah, about, I was I talking about Jaws, right? Yeah. I had to kill the guy. Um, yeah. yeah. I didn't kill anybody. We, it was all good and fun. Yeah, wait, what was the fun? You said you did something super fun, and then we ended up talking about scary okay. movies. Okay. <laughs> don't tell anybody. Um, <laughs> so, in the Bahamas, there's this beautiful resort, like this huge resort called Atlantis. I don't know if anyone has heard of it. Is the that mythical the mythical city? Yeah, yeah it's a mythical city, but yeah. there's a huge resort in the Bahamas. Where Aquaman lives. Yeah, Aquaman was there. It was okay. so cool. I was like, hey, Aquaman. Jeez. Okay. Is he like bigger in person? Yeah, or? he's really? huge. Wow. Little, little legs, though. Very thin. Oh, looks like Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Right. Shane's legs are like, bow. <laughs> but they're oh. like short. And his butt's like, ah. <laughs> 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 His ass like bam. Yeah. <laughs> Legs like boom. His ass like ah. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> What? <laughs> Sorry. What, what was so cool? <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, anyways, don't tell anybody. Anyways, Nas Bahamas still Atlantis is still like one of the biggest resorts there. They have a slide where there's all these fish that are around you, but you're enclosed. Oh, oh my god! And like and like there's sharks and like dolphins, which is like kind of inhumane. Oh my god! Oh, that's oh you can't yeah. do that. I don't know. See, They're that's trapped a, in there. So this I'm was when sad. I was sixteen. Yeah. Oh, before you go on, I wanted like a uh, my so when I get a house and yes. you know, get my pool, you know. Oh, that's uh -huh. why you're asking. <laughs> yeah, this is why I need to ask okay. before you continue because I want my um my pool to like almost be an infinity type situation totally. where you, you're swimming with sharks and everything, but I guess it's inhumane because oh, it's but like the an sharks... aquarium. Yeah, like you're in the pool, but there you like it's a glass like Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah. So I don't think I can do that. Maybe you can get robot um sharks. Yeah, then. like some AI yeah, shit. Some, yeah. Some robot sharks. I think it is yes. it is I, I look back on it when I was sixteen, I was like, that's inhumane. Oh wow. So we'll figure something out. I need for some you. new dreams. <laughs> we'll figure something out for you. Keep going. But listen, it was <laughs> so cool. But we weren't staying there. We couldn't uh, get in. You couldn't use the pool. Oh wow. So one of my guy friends like learned or like met one of the guys who was running the door or security at Atlantis and we each paid him like $25 cash and he gave us wristbands. Wow, he and, just came up. And that's though. like $500. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so we had wristbands and we were like, ah, Atlantis. <laughs> so there was like nine 16 year olds being like, ah. oh, like those, my that, God. oh, that poor resort. But we used that pool all day. We like used the pool, we kept swimming in the pool, and it was stunning. That sounds really It awesome. was so mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, we totally I've never been it. to one of those types of resorts. They're kind of I, I would say as an adult now, it's like it's a little much. Yeah. It's not really my go to anymore. But there is something nice. Like if you're going with your family and not everyone can agree on stuff, mm. a resort is a good place to go. Yeah. Totally. It's like everything you need is there. Yeah. But 
now it's like I want to go find the local food. I want to go explore. Mm-hmm. Whereas like a resort is. There's two different types of vacations, you know. Yeah. There's mm-hmm. vacations where you're like kind of working, you're kind of doing stuff. Yes. You're like we got to plan things, we got to go yeah. places. Yeah. Sight- but I love I love vacations where it's like I basically become like a little pillow that they're just feeding and like mm. like do so you're like, like ha. <laughs> <laughs> you're like I'm one of those guys at the end of Wally. I was I'm just, just like in a like pod. <laughs> I'm like just ship me around. I was just, just like <laughs> I was just going to say are you Wally? Like you like, wake up in the morning and the bed just like flops you into something <laughs> and then they just bring you around and massage you this and is your feed dream? you. When I watched that part of Wally I was like these people are so sad. They're oh like, yeah. No. Uh, no, uh, it's uh, not my dream. On a daily basis I I hate like I, I'm not good at relaxing, but the idea of going to a resort where everything's kind of all inclusive and Same. it's just like you don't have to hardly move anywhere. Okay, you must go if you love that. <laughs> you must go because my dad loves that shit. He's like, oh yeah, I'm in. A, I'm just in a moving <laughs> recliner and I'm just like yogurt, <laughs> beer. No, you don't have to say anything. You just click a button. <laughs> click and a Corona just smashes <laughs> <in> my face. <laughs> you go to bed. Ah. No, literally. Sushi! <laughs> just they fling it at my face. Wait, you must go to a resort then, because you're gonna yeah. lose it. They're no, so I, I I know, I'd love it. So fun. Have yeah. you been to a resort? Um, I actually had to film some stuff in Vegas where me and Olivia both did. It was something with Viacom that never came out. <gasps> and it was um I think it was actually around springtime. Um, oh so boy. like it was given spring break, but it was some show where there was a person who lives a fabulous life and then there's somebody who lives like a normal life. But you're still getting you. You're giving a, a chance to experience like Vegas in the, the the most fabulous way. So I was eating shit with gold in it. Yes. Ooh. I was like they they I actually didn't stay there, but I stayed at some um I was supposed to be staying at some like uh not resort, but what's the thing that you go to where oh, shit, it was some like really nice house. Like small little house. Okay. Like I don't know how to explain it. Like a like a timeshare type. No, 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 no. It was like Honda. some like well, whatever. Well, I stayed there. Well, they acted as if I stayed there. They acted as if Olivia stayed at a regular hotel, which you of course you know that Olivia how- was at circus circus. Bro, <laughs> Olivia, by the end of that shoot, Olivia was so over it. <laughs> she was just like, just like, I'm the regular person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, like, honestly, in hindsight, it made for a good video because Olivia lives like, uh, yeah. she lives cool, you know? Yeah. Me, on the other hand, I don't give a f- <laughs> you know, like I'm eating gold. Yeah, but it was around, right? Exactly. But we got to try. I got to try some really cool food. She got like, mm. um, uh, food truck food. Like, <laughs> they sent her to, the best. They sent uh, her to Outback Steakhouse. Oh my god, they sent her to some like food truck that had macaroni and cheese, oh. like pizza. It was something crazy. Release the tapes. I love how the <laughs> whole basis of this thing is like, hey, Olivia, so we're gonna treat you like shit a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And she said, let's do it. And then we got there. She was like, uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that actually treat you uh, yeah, like yeah. No. It was fun, though. That's I forgot tough. the name of the, the, the type of place they was. But you stayed in a really nice place. Yeah, yeah. But the, the hotel that they actually had us in was really, really nice. But no, I have never stayed at a resort. I, I think everyone should experience a resort once in their life just because like you pay you pay the amount and then usually mostly everything's included and if you just want to be forced to relax mm-hmm. everything is right there I, for um, you yeah i kind of need that cuz i should do it. don't relax otherwise you need to i okay you okay <laughs> he's got to do it yeah. god damn mm-hmm. all right you got it keith what's up did you ever do, so you never did spring break. Or so you did. as an adult, so as a kid, I I was kind of confused how you ended up going out and doing experiencing spring break. Um, I've yeah, never done that. weird. Yeah, like my mom, my, I was a good kid. Believe it or not, I was truly a good kid. And my my mom and my parents would allow me to go hang out with friends. I remember one time we went to Tennessee, but I've never experienced spring break until I got older. Um, I remember going and staying at some cool hotel with like my friend and just like running into people that I knew from Ohio, which was cool from some people that I've seen in college. It was just a really great experience. Miami never sleeps. Never. And neither did oh, I. So you went to Miami. Yes. And that's the thing. I've never been the guy to just like straight up take trips unless it's like work related or something. And I was like, oh, I have to start doing this for myself, mm-hmm. like truly doing it for myself. I've never done it. Um, so like I didn't I don't have too many crazy spring break, uh, spring break, um, like excursions that I went on. But I do remember one time. <laughs> 
<laughs> me and <laughs> me and one of my friends, we were intoxicated. <laughs> I was an adult. What? <laughs> I never I was, said I was intoxicated I, in the Bahamas. Uh, I was drinking soda water. Right, 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 right. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Um, but we were intoxicated and this was around springtime sometime I don't remember what year because I was drunk and um, pretty much we were on a balcony at my apartment we're on a balcony and they had to throw up and like no straight up you're like, on a balcony how high in up? Miami oh this was like no no this is here this is here okay. I re remember this isn't my excursions this is just like me it's just here this is yeah, a this Tuesday is here. yeah this is <laughs> but it was a spring break Tuesday okay yeah so we were on the balcony and we're drinking or whatnot. And they were like, yo, like I got to throw up. And I was like, go. And they said, Bleh. and I said, oh, I think I got to throw up too. <laughs> and they were like, go. And I said, Bleh. and then we start looking at each other and our eyes are watering. <laughs> you know, when you throw yeah. up and your eyes are watering. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah. So <laughs> I was like, go. And they said, <laughs> and then they were like, Go and I said, uh, like I mean, back and forth five good times, and what? I remember. How did I, you have that all in you? Because we were drinking. When I tell uh, you, by the time our faces were like, we were laughing while we were throwing up the like th third, fourth, and fifth times, but we're wiping the the tears from like just like laughing and also just throwing up and just being like, yo, we really just threw up together. It made us that much more closer. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Just it's happened. game over. I throw up and it's like, get me to the hospital. See, you don't know how to spring break because it's peaking around. I, I guess I really I love don't. that you guys were telling each other to go. Yeah, like, oh, you got to go. Okay, go. Wait, wait. <laughs> Was it over the balcony? Yeah, we're not. Come on, into some bushes. Into do some you bushes. Think, do you think I would throw up on the balcony? No, I thought you were throwing up over the balcony, and anyone could be like, "I'm having a oh, great day." Oh no, no, Me too. no, no. Uh, go. We were. Uh, huh? No, we weren't go. that drunk. We weren't that drunk, and also where my apartment was, we were like the the first one, so there was. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I just remember. <laughs> I go. imagine you guys like on a in a in a hotel room like fifty stories. Fifty up. stories up. Go. Where uh, your throw up kills someone. Down no, below. no, that would be funny, that but that's be, not. Oh, that no, would be awful be for somebody terrible. else, but it would also be kind of funny. I mean, we didn't do that though, <laughs> but. Just just go, uh, go, uh, oh my go. God. Uh, it was fun. I don't have any story remotely. Well, I have one story that's sort of like that. I only uh -oh. have one. I only have, I have two, two, t two crazy party stories. Go. Where I was, where <laughs> I was involved in craziness. Only one where I got too crazy. Oh my God. What? And it's stupid. It's dumb. Uh, I feel it, like it's going to be mid. <laughs> it is going to be mid, probably, compared to your guys' shit. Like, I don't feel good. Let's go to bed. I, I had this one time, and I was I had a beer, and then I took a nap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here for all the things, Shane. No, no, I want to hear something yes. crazy. I've probably want... told this story. I've probably told this story. But uh, there, was, there was one time, it was in Vegas. This was in Vegas. Oh, okay. This um, I was 21 or 22. Um and it's getting even better yeah. i know it's so <laughs> nuts Stay and safe. i tried a beer um <laughs> so my friend was having her 21st birthday party mm. and they uh her mom had like gotten her a reserved like red carpet or a uh, red like vip section in a club mm. okay and like and like yeah really nice club yeah that's and not cheap it is not cheap yeah. at all not she amazing. also got it like bottle service whoa and got like and and asked us we showed up it's me it's it's the birthday girl and it's two other uh it's it's the birthday girl her friend and then two two different couples this this uh mormon couple this like party this like this like kind of mormon couple and then the these two uh two guys that were also a couple. I'm gonna get lit yeah so so she this comes up to like... us i think they were mormon maybe they were like pseudo mormon cuz i think they were drinking they were just like real, uh, like a traditional couple okay got it um but but she the mom comes up and she's like hey do you guys want bottle oh, service what do there. you want what do you want uh yeah the mom's there oh. and and then um <laughs> gotta pay that i'm price. like i'm like uh i don't know what what like and i, I kind of i was like i like whiskey like and she's like okay great we'll get one of those and like so she gets like three different bottles which oh is my God. of whiskey no three bottles like it was like vodka tequila whiskey I think. which probably came up to like three thousand oh my no it did so oh, so wow. then the birthday girl starts feeling kind of sick like just genuinely genuinely not from drinking she <laughs> oh. just kind of was like feeling sick she has to leave 
but within like an hour of us getting there. So what? she leaves the mom turns to us and it's only uh it's it's like six of us that in this VIP section. God. And and she's like, guys, please, like this was a lot of money. Like, please stay, have a good time. Like, oh, you wow. know, she we have my to mom go. would kick my ass. She'd I, be like, you're not sick. I felt <laughs> no, it was that fight. But I I had this I felt so responsible because I had been like, oh, I like whiskey and stuff. And I was like, you got a whole bottle because I said that. And I was like, I was not even really planning on drinking that oh, night. Oh no. And so no, I'm no. I'm sober at this point. And and I Shame. absolutely do not condone this. And I yeah. I only did this once and I had never done it again. But I was like, oh my gosh, like she spent all this money. I have to drink this alcohol. Oh. <laughs> And oh we God. start doing so shots and shit, like, cause it's like we gotta at least make this like choice worth it. And I, it is the only time in my life that I have blacked out drunk. And oh. I, and so oh. I don't remember gotta the keep night. Living, kid, I don't. <laughs> so I don't, couple's like, I don't remember. Dead. I don't remember the night at all. I don't remember the night at oh all. Oh my God. I had a, a buddy who was under 21, so he uh, and a couple other friends were just up in the hotel room, like mm. hanging out while we went there. And he says at like two or three a.m., they 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 come. We come back into the hotel room, and the and two guys are just carrying me, like oh, no. like like Passion of the Christ. Just I'm just like I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I come in, and I'm like incoherent, like Jeez. um. And I guess the the one one guy just became my life coach, and he was gonna like help me feel better. Yeah. I'm over the toilet throwing up, and he's having me drink tons of water. And I guess he like gets into this really big like crazy pep talk thing of like, like come on men drink water like what do men drink and I'm like water and oh. like and like just just really like they were young hyping me up hyping me up to try to get me better yeah. but I guess my my friend says that every every now and then he'd be like what do men drink I'd be like water like what do men drink water and then <laughs> every now and then he'd be like what do men drink and I'd be like alcohol. <laughs> Like no, uh, but he said I was throwing up just like pure alcohol. Oh, like, oh my god, my god! But uh, I guess a couple things that I said throughout the night. <laughs> oh, I want to hear this. <laughs> and oh, no. I'm, I'm just so embarrassed, like thinking about it. But I guess like uh, there was there was her uh, the birthday girl's one friend was there. Uh, there was the two couples. Like I said, one of them was was a gay couple. One of them was like this more like Mormon. I think they were Mormon. I think they were. I, <laughs> I, 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 they were Mormon, Mormon, but they were they're drinking. <laughs> but I kept going to both the couples and just being like, "You guys are so in love. You guys should. You guys should get married. You're so in love." Aww. And they and they'd be like, "We are married." I'd be like, "That's you guys." <laughs> But I just kept I like I, and I know that's a thing that I I used to do a lot. Like I would I, I and it's a thing when I if I have a drink or two like I do love to like hype people up and like Aww. tell them how much how awesome they are. But I was really doing that to these couples who are already um, already married. Already oh, married. <laughs> Oh my and God. I was like, why did I say that? Hold on. What year was this? Because, you know, Usher has this song, Make Love in the Club. <laughs> and he so, was there sitting this watching is... this whole thing going like, and that's my new song. This is, yeah. this is 10 <laughs> years ago. Usher's like, I got to write that down. <laughs> um, no, but I, I, bro, I woke up the next morning. I woke up the next morning horizontal on a bed, uh, at the end of a bed, like laying across it. Oh. Uh, all of my clothes fully on. And I remember, I remember because I wake up, I look over, I see there's someone in the bed. I can't see, but I'm also like, I'm not under any covers. I'm, and I was like, okay, my, my jeans and belt are on like everything. So I'm like, okay, nothing crazy happened. <laughs> I was, Cause I got worried for a second. Cause I, I woke up and I didn't know where I was. And that's the oh, only no. time that's ever happened. And I hated it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I hated it <laughs> yeah. so much. That's, I've, that's happened to me a couple of times. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're like, okay, I um, kind of remember. Tuesday. <laughs> but, but I woke up and then I just walk out and I'm just like, I'm like, what the frick happened? Oh and the guy with the pep truck's like, how you feeling, buddy? He's like, what's good? What do men like? Water. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck are you talking what about? What do men do? Keep their pants on and their belt buckle. <laughs> he was the chosen. Um, but that was, that's. That's the craziest eye. Shane, that's pretty crazy. That is crazy. And it I is crazy. feel really bad. Yeah, because I said felt it was awful. Yeah, that, that's no, because it's like it's that story and then everything else. I mean, truly, you know me. Like, mm -hmm. I don't go crazy otherwise. Mm -hmm. And that's the only time 
And it was a night that I did not plan on going crazy. Mm. And it was just because I'm, I'm also a guilty person mm. that I'm like, oh, I need to help I out. I that you were like, I'm going to drink this whole bottle. I wasn't <laughs> planning on drinking the whole bottle. I was just like, we need to drink some of it. And then it oh, just went too far. Oh, my God. <gasps> you know what I would have done? I would have just figured out a way to smuggle out that bottle and just keep it in the hotel. Oh, wow. I wonder how much trouble you'd get in if you... Tried. Huh. I think it's such, it's such a recently. scam. <laughs> Not a bottle, but a, a definitely a cup. Really? Okay. Yes. Oh, okay, that's yeah. fine. It's such a scam, though. I hate bottle service. That mm -hmm. I'm like, these bottles that cost like 20 bucks. Yep. Never done it. Are... Four hundred. Yep. Yeah. I'm not. I'm also not a dancer. I don't like. I don't love to go out and dance. Mm -hmm. So clubs make no sense to me. Mm. Where I'm just like, <laughs> you're just at this place. You could just. You could just all hang out at someone's house. I also think VIP. I I always see that if if I'm going out to a club, which has been a while. But like if it's mm. like blocked off VIP, I'm like, what's the point? Yeah. You guys aren't like integrated mm -hmm. in like. It's more so for people feeling dancing. like they're the shit when they're not. Um, see, for me, <laughs> I've been a part of some VIP situations. Mm -hmm. Not me paying for it out of my pocket. Like, if I have certain friends who are kind of like Hollywood, and they're like, yo, we got to get VIP. And I'm like, all right, I'll go. But, like, usually I'm out dancing with everybody else. Yeah, yeah you're it's just, just not, chill in that little space. Yeah, like, I don't want to stand in the dark with some glasses on. I wear glasses as it is, but, like, not, like, just, it's just it's very just pretentious. Ego trip. Yeah. It's very pretentious. Like, I have a friend, he's probably going to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fan of Smosh. <laughs> But no, no, he's great. He's great. Like he's probably gonna love this. But we're for his birthday, we're gonna do something here in LA, and he's getting bottle service. And then for, um, you know, for his actual birthday, we're going to Vegas, right? Mm -hmm. And he said that he wants to get bottle service out here, but then he's gonna get like a, a, a an Airbnb, like a really nice Airbnb Ooh. for Vegas. Ooh. But I'm like, why are we getting bottle service out here in LA? Like we know what to do. Like I could understand going to Vegas and trying ah. to like flex but yeah. the fact that we're gonna do that out here i'm like dog like you, who do you want to come bro we don't need to do this i know where we can drink for cheap my house you know what i mean we can yeah. have fun right. like we everybody can come over there like i don't mind but the fact that he's trying to do it i'm like hey dog like uh, i mean i'm gonna do it because it's your birthday but just like i would never like do this it's not fun it's it's just it's it's pretentious it's um right. it's just doing the most well after he sees this you're not invited no, I'm definitely on <laughs> <laughs> <You're running it. laughs> And you know what? Honestly, that's cool. No, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. No. I love Stop. you, man. <laughs> I love you. That's I've my never, I've never, I don't think I've ever done bottle service. I've never done it myself. <gasps> like, yeah. I've never, I would never pay for that. Mm -hmm. No. I don't get that. Yeah, but if one of my friends is a DJ and his like family, they put, they throw up parties and all that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they will have bo bottle service for us. And it's like cool, but it's like not the regular bottle service. It's just like a little table somewhere okay, and then everybody's fine. around. So it's like I can get with that, but like the if other it, stuff. If it was bottle service with wine and champagne, done. Done, really? Like, I, yes. I, I don't want, I don't need like bottles of hard liquor. Like mm. I, bottle service with wine, like bottles of wine. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I have gone to maybe like, oh, a restaurant and maybe you've met uh, the Psalm there or whatever. Yeah. And they've come over with like four different bottles for you to try or mm -hmm. whatever. That to me, I'm like, okay, that's f***ing bad. Okay, mm. bottle service for Knights and Rodanthium. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I will always be a classy bitch. Mm. Okay, that's right. That's but right. It's just like I don't, I don't know. Did you ever? You probably never. I, I guess you're talking about spring break and stuff, and when you're in high school, I don't picture you as like a partier. <laughs> you don't know the old Amanda. <laughs> I partied really hard in college. Really? Yeah, really hard. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Same. <laughs> End of story. Um, and I'm done. I definitely, but I've only. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, she just went somewhere that she cannot go. Shane, here. Shane, I've I have had my big party days. That's why now mm, you're I'm like bed at nine, two mm. glasses of wine. But man, you also used to be a bartender. Yeah. So yeah, that whole you've I used been to there, bartend done that. on an island. In Martha's Vineyard. That's how oh, I made. Right. That's how I made money to get here. I was a bartender, and I worked seven days a week. Whoa. Doubles. Oof. And on my break, I would. For go, how long? Wow. It was super fucking long. My shifts were like. No, I mean, how many? How like? Oh, months, um, years? eight months. Eight months. For you worked eight months straight. 
Yeah. Did you to make money to you move had to LA? Some wow. days off in that eight months. I had a couple days off to go off island. <laughs> to like go. I think get you food. were a prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> I did it to myself because I wanted wow. to make enough money to drive out to LA. Wow. And you, you drove make... out here? Yeah. Let's talk about Whoa. not partying. You were just I partied so much. In, Even... On that island? Yeah, so it was every the, the cool thing is everyone on the island was working that much and partying that much. Mm-hmm. So it was like every night there'd be a a, bar, a bonfire or like someone at the mm-hmm. bar would go like someone's house on the island or we were all renting houses, we we're all staying there. Mm-hmm. And we biked everywhere. No one drove on that island. Oh my god. Unless you were like going really far out, but you barely How many people total like were on that island? There was a good amount of people. Like a mm-hmm. bunch of people from different countries would go there and work. Oh, okay. Like it was so that so really much fun cool. partying. And like people would be doing like people's jobs were like catering, right? So someone yeah. would work a wedding and then my roommate would have all this leftover lobster. So we would just, for free, we would just invite people over. We all lived in these big, like, houses so that we were cool. renting yeah, it from does. rich people. And we were paying not that much a month. Oh, so my God. Yeah, I shared I shared a house with my best friend and two dudes. They were so much fun. Mm-hmm. We all worked in the restaurant. Oh, nice. We'd all bike to our restaurants on our on our lunch break. We'd swim in the ocean, come back, and go. It was the best summer. Okay, I have a question. My mind just went somewhere. Did yeah. anybody ever like get a flat tire with the bikes? Like, how was that? No. <laughs> Whoa, really? No. Okay. And if they Sorry. did, they walked home. Wow. And is that far? The I like you couldn't go from like one part of the island to the to like up island. Okay. Like, if there was a party up island, mm-hmm. you would drive there. Like one person would drive. Wow. There. I had my car on the island. Whoa, I would not survive there. <laughs> this is crazy. Well, I had a goal. I wanted to move to LA. And Were you, you really did sad that. when it was done? I was sad, but I was also, but also it's winter Exhausted. on the island. Oh, wow. So it, it gets very, very cold. Jeez. Yeah. So then I was like, it's time to go. Mm-hmm. Like, winter on the island is like, goodbye. Mm-hmm. Like, only locals are here. You need to go. Whoa. So I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't sad, but I def, I went to UMass Amherst. Its nickname is Zumas. Like, I hate it. She got, did you ever do a keg stand? Yeah. <laughs> I did a keg stand. Yeah. I did uh I've done a, a keg funnel. stand once. And I was like, why do people do this? It's terrible. It's awful. Mm-hmm. A keg stand, I think I did it once. And I was like, this is horrendous. First yeah. of all, I'm six feet. Why are we doing this? I mean, <laughs> upside down. Yeah. I also. The they had funnel, to get a whole Amish yeah. crew to I, lift you up. <laughs> 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 All right, Ben, you ready? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, 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 oh my me. God. They're building oh. a barn. <laughs> and then the funnel, I was like, the thing is, though, mm-hmm. <laughs> I liked the taste of alcohol. I didn't want to, like, binge drink like that. Mm. But, yeah. like, we definitely drank. And, and my campus was buses everywhere. So we never drove anywhere. That's crazy. Or we'd mm. walk to places. I only got blackout once, <laughs> and it was like me and my friend. We were going to like the apartment parties, which were really cool. And we, <laughs> first of all, we left our phones on the bus. And we were like, our phones. <laughs> Ran after the bus, caught up, grabbed our phones, and we're like, okay, our blackberries. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went to this party. And we walked in, and we we're like, woo! Wrong apartment, wrong house. Yes. This guy was in his PJs and was like. What are you guys doing here? We were like, <laughs> hello? And we were just, we we barely remembered the night. This is what someone telling us. Oh my God. So I didn't often do that. Wow. That's like we definitely, we we were also the party house. Like our house was right near really? all the bars. So uh, people would go to the bars and spend way too much stupid money when we loved our house parties. Mm-hmm. So we would have big house parties. That sounds there. like fun. I think yeah. I'm due for another house party right house about now. Are so, that's I enjoy what I grew them. Up doing. I enjoy them. That's all I experienced too because since I didn't go to high school, um, but uh, these actor kids would have house parties a lot. Oh. So that was crazy. It was a lot of times these kids, these like kids who were on. Nickelodeon or Disney shows. We're like at Oakwood. 
Do you Oakwood, have a lot of... I was I lived at Oakwood mm. um, for one of the, for a couple pilot seasons. What's Oakwood? Oakwood was it's no longer Oakwood, but it was mm. this apartment complex on Barham, mm. and it's famous for or it used to be famous for being like where actor kids often mm-hmm. came out, and that's where I came out for the, my first couple pilot seasons. Mm-hmm. Um, so tons of actor kids there, um, and but uh, a lot of these house parties would be thrown, but it was by kids who were like series regulars on shows and stuff and that's i've mentioned it before about how like i know how high, high schools have hierarchies but amongst actor kids it was so crazy because like it's like well that kid's a regular on a tv show so he is technically better than all of us like it was like that was kind of the vibe yeah but they also like have a lot of money because uh, but they were also crazy and like yeah what was it like to party with them uh well, you know, I was so awkward and, and kind of shy that I had my group of friends and I unfortunately like I would just kind of like not know what to do with myself. Um, but th- it's more the stories I heard. Like I would leave the party and I'd be like, that was fun. Like I had a chill time. And people would be like, yeah, they were doing cocaine in the bathroom. Yeah. I'm like, I didn't <laughs> know like, that. I was like, downstairs near the piano. <laughs> I was just hanging out. Like, uh, you know, um, I. I never did anything crazy and I never saw anything. And I think people I've talked about this. People I think clocked me as so like, I give off such straight edge vibes mm. and I hated it when I was young. So I, yeah. I was like, I want to do, I want to party. I yeah. Do crazy yeah. Um, I probably deep down didn't like I was mm. nervous to, to ever try anything, but uh, nobody ever offered me anything or like <laughs> nobody ever, I never was peer pressured into anything in my life. And so I never, I've. Except by that mom who forced <laughs> a whole Except a fucking mom who's like, drink oh. this fucking Jack like, Daniels. No, you owe me money. Shane. Know, that's the only time. Right? Shane, no, I, I think I made you drink Hennessy one time before. This is the funniest story of all time. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I. This I've, is the funniest shit yep, ever. Yep, please tell the story. Um. So uh, I'm hanging out with Keith. One time I go out with mm. Keith. Yep. Uh, we're in Hollywood. We're partying in Hollywood. Yep. What? Uh, I wanted to be a fly on the wall for that. Uh, oh, it gets better. It was okay. it was Keith, me, um, and then uh, one of our former writers here at Smosh, Kurt Maloney. Yep. Incredible. I love yeah. Kurt. Kurt's mm-hmm. incredible. Yep. Uh, at one point, we're at a bar on Hollywood <laughs> and we're hanging out just with Keith and um and you know definitely it's it's more that it's late in the night I'm not blackout at all but no. I I'm just kind of mm-hmm. like you know when you're just tired you're kind of mm-hmm. like in and out like kind of dozing mm-hmm. but uh I'm having a good time and then after a second uh I, I kind of like I just suddenly realized like it's it's Keith and a bunch of his friends are all black a, a, a bu- Keith, <laughs> Keith's friends who all happen to be black uh, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of uh, black men around uh, 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 I but, need to go home you know I think nothing of it nothing and, of and, it. and cool. I'm hanging out with he's Kurt. cool yeah, he's I'm hanging out with Kurt, Kurt and I right here and then suddenly I realize that Kurt and I and I don't recall ordering it <laughs> Kurt and I both have Hennessy and Coke <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta I, do it right. I'm, I'm drinking this, and I'm like, and I'm just like, uh, I, <laughs> Tennessee and Coca Cola. <laughs> Guys, drink that. He's like, drink that. It was so funny. Funny thing is, I didn't drink one with them. I was drinking no. tequila. You're no, like, no, nobody, nobody else is drinking them except Kurt and I. Kurt and I are the only people drinking them. Yeah, Guys, are... that's what made it so stupid. If you're gonna hang with us. You need to do it right. This is <laughs> this is initiation. <laughs> Hennessy and Coke. Well, we're not touching that shit. <laughs> Too sweet. <laughs> they woke up with hangovers. I was fine. Yeah. One sip of Hennessy. Sorry. Is oh. like, he's like, whoa. He's, Look, it was good. He's not come back to hang out with me and my boyfriend. Oh, he hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he hasn't. I'm just he hasn't been texting him every weekend. He's like, will Hennessy uh, be there? Yeah, I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> will Hennessy be there? <laughs> oh, my God. I did. Okay. Let me like bring it back around, though. I did feel kind of bad. So I was like, I didn't even drink. Like any, you know, I didn't even drink any Hennessy and Coke. I don't think we ordered. The, didn't you order them? For I'm us? pretty sure I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I was I, like, how did these end up in front of us? Mm-hmm. I was like, you got to try it. And I felt bad the next day, and I was like, nah, it's cool. It was, no, it was, it was so fucking funny. But hell no. Yeah, like Hennessy and Coke. Oh, the devil, wow. the devil. It's so sweet. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. It's like asking for a hangover on the first shot. No, no it's yeah. so sweet. And hangovers are also a reason. <laughs> Hangovers are also a reason why I never really partied too much because I I got hangovers when I was super young. Mm. I always have gotten them. I've never experienced not. And some people talk about like, oh yeah, when you're young and you don't get hangovers. I'm like, mm. the f- no, I like, I, mm-hmm. I've always gotten such devastating ones. Yeah, I, I like can't. Mm-hmm. I definitely got hangovers. I think I think just being younger, I would just be like, I would do everything I needed to do and more on a hangover. Now it's like. Uh, no. It devastates me. No, now I'm I like, can't. it's the end of my life. 
It's the end of my days. Like, <laughs> it just takes over. Y'all don't know what y'all doing. Let me tell you something. Tell me. So, <laughs> when you have a hangover, the best thing to do is to drink some more. No. no. <laughs> okay. That is absolutely look, not. Look at me. Look how You're so Irish. <laughs> Care of the dog. Come on. Honey, you look, really okay. are Irish. Mr. O'Brien over here. <laughs> just, you know, keeping up the family name. It's true. Everybody knows at this point I like to drink. I like to have fun. And I have had multiple hangovers. Um, I've gotten a lot better. <laughs> Let me what just say that. Um, water, water for sure. Um, tons, tons, tons and of tons water. of water. I remember I used to like party with some of my friends, and they were like, "Keith, you have to drink water. You're getting a hangover because you don't drink water." Remember, I never used to drink water at the. I office. remember that you really never did. By noon, I would have had like maybe. You were drinking soda. Yeah, soda pop. I call it pop. So I would be drinking like. <laughs> oh, it's different. <laughs> okay, whatever. How old are you? I, I am from You're the like Midwest. 85? I'm from the Midwest. Pop. Okay, and we say pop. Got it. So right. I would I'm have like. Old school stuff. I would have. I would drink like four. Four sodas, maybe like a Dr. Pepper and a Coca-Cola, like four of them by noon. No. You know? And that's the thing. But I would also sometimes like go out and I would drink with my friends or whatever. But I'm still not drinking water. So it got to the point where one of my friends was like, Keith, I never see you drink water. This is what we need to do. Like, you need to drink more water. You won't have a hangover tomorrow. You've been having hangovers the last few times you party. And I'm like, all right, I'll try it. And this is when I had a whole stomach so I could put a lot more down. Mm -hmm. Man, when I tell you the next day I woke up. And I was like, I am ready to go. That's when I started drinking water. Yes. <laughs> it took for me well, to have like some my body hangovers. Needs this. Yes. It Who took... cares how you did it? I'm glad you're drinking water. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I'm drinking water now. Water I actually my best friend. Yeah, well, I don't want to say it's my best friend. It's like the friend that like tells me about myself that I don't want to it's like a, a yeah. great therapist. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're like, you know what you need? You're like, Oh, geez. right. Here we go again. Here we go. Yeah. I love, I love water so much. And also putting a little sea salt in water if you're not feeling well. What? Right when you wake up. Yeah. I've never like heard of this. Oh, I water. have heard about this. Is this real? Yes. Yeah. So if you are working, if you're like working out, say, say, say you like had a couple drinks the night before and you're about to work out or you just got back from like a really intense workout or mm. whatever. Yeah. You put a little kosher salt in your water, you stir it around. It immediately hydrates you. Wow. Huh. Immediately. Okay. And also, if you have a headache, immediately go straight here. Whoa. Yeah, I'm upset. Okay. With it. Well, that's good shot. to know. I think I, I can test it out. I can like drink a lot Celtic tonight. Celtic salt. Celtic salt. <laughs> and just I'll give to, it a shot. Where do you um, get Celtic salt? Anywhere. You could get it at a grocery store. Okay, that's good. You should know. You're Irish. <laughs> yeah, it's Celtic. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. You have to go to Ireland to get it. <laughs> they, they see me. They see me for who I really am. <laughs> No, you could get it anywhere. You can get it at any any grocery store. I don't think you can get it at Trader Joe's. But it's just Celtic mm. salt or kosher salt, sea salt. You put it in a little bit in your water and it's the shit. That's it's also awesome. great for after working out. Like you okay. do not need to spend your money on these like intense mm -hmm. I mean, yes, electrolytes are good, but that will also do the trick. Okay. Mm. I'll give it a shot. Good to know. Buy my product. Hold on. Here Wait. Uh. Uh, <laughs> use my promo. <laughs> Amanda, salt. I'm Irish. <laughs> Yes, well, let's go. Keep it in the, the family. <laughs> what was like the stupidest thing you ever witnessed at a party? Because I I've talked so about this. Much, the first huh? party I ever went to, a fight broke out between these two guys, and one guy got thrown into a fire pit. <laughs> not, not like a, like it was like one of those portable fire things, and like fell into that. Tumbled, got up. His jacket was on fire. He got he took his jacket off and people stamped it out and then like he later in the fight he got thrown into the pool. Oh, so all the elements got my thrown. Hey, okay. I told that story. You went high I'm like, huh? How do I Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I mean, this is just really dumb, but like we would when we were younger, we wanted to like go and hang out and party and no mm -hmm. one I mean, we 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 couldn't use our houses, so we would go in the woods. They were called woods parties. That's like where all our parties would be. But you'd have to like hike a fucking 30 minutes Jeez. to get to the spot in the wow. dark. That's crazy. And one of my friends got her foot stuck like <laughs> deep in mud and she was like, my phone. And I'm not even sure we made it to the party. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, yeah. That doesn't really work there because it's not at the party, but getting to. Why would so they have you, it 30 minutes into the woods? Once, because you have to go so far. So that the adults don't know. So the, oh, so the cops don't find you. Because, But one time we were out so far in the woods. I mean, I thought we'd never get there. 
and we were out because we have a lot of power lines, right? So the power lines is where all these like woods are and people could dirt bike mm -hmm. through them. So there was like a lot of like deep paths that you could go to. And one time we were out so far, we had just gotten there. It was like 60 fucking kids. Oh my God. Two cop cars fucking driving over like tree stumps. <laughs> we're driving through the woods and we were like, motherfucker. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, they, they, they I don't know. were determined. Someone oh called them. God. There was like one woman who was like, I know something. They're out in the woods. Oh I can, I know it, those kids. They all hiked a mile, go oh get them. My God. I, I don't know. I had a party once broken up. Uh, I was I was at a I was at a house party. I did not drink at all. I remember I remember being stone <laughs> Of course cold. you did it. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's it's cool to not drink. Do Don't better. let this scary movie I... man <laughs> get your ass. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> scary <laughs> movie man. <laughs> but I was I, I just remember being sober because I remember, I remember it so vividly. And I also I was glad that I was because me and my friends just. I think it was one of those parties where you showed up and then like there the alcohol was kind of gone mm. or there wasn't it wasn't uh, like worse. So we just didn't really have the option. We were just kind of hanging out in a room in this house uh. and then it got broken up by the cops like massively. Like where there were so many cop cars, there was a helicopter. Whoa. And as we leave, what? as we leave, there were police there with like riot. Oh my things. god. And I remember walking around just being like Damn, like this is crazy, and I, we showed up kind of late to it. But I was like, this did not feel like it warranted. Yeah, a helicopter. It, a helicopter. I, I shit. Did somebody? Did somebody get shot? I, I don't. I don't remember any sort of commotion or anything. I just remember people being like, "Guys, it's being broken up. Like the cops are here, whatever." And That's I, not. Cool. And we just walked out the front door. Like we just walked out the front door. <laughs> Uh, but like police, police were all there and everything. Hello. Like, oh they were like, <laughs> they're like, this kid's, this kid's a fucking virgin. Like, oh let him go. He's Aww. pathetic. Oh my god. I was like, gee, golly. Oh <laughs> boy. Uh, hello, officer. My <laughs> name is Shane Top. Hello. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> For me, so this might have been a little bit. If we're still kind of talking about spring break and shit, mm -hmm. this was a little bit before I was in one of the main shows because I went to performing art school. Um, we did Macbeth. Yes. Right? I wasn't Macbeth, of course. <laughs> but one of my good friends, he lives in New York now. I can say his name, Zach, because I want him to watch this video. He's really cool. His girlfriend's like on um, uh, Broadway right now. Wow. Yeah, yeah. She is in, she's been, you met Kimber before, my friend Kimber. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah when we went to New York. Um, she's from Wizard of Oz. It's based off of oh, Wizard Wicked? of Oz. Wicked? Yeah, Wicked. she's in Wicked. Wicked. She's in Wicked. She's oh not in a wheelchair. She's, she, in her version, she is in a wheelchair. Wait. I don't know. Helen She's one Keller's of the aunts. Wicked. The 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 the, the, the w witches. I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm wicked. Not, wicked. Yeah. Okay. Wicked. She's one of witches. Wicked is one of the best. That's, best shows I've ever seen. Yeah. But she's like, you know, she's been doing well for herself. But we're in this show. And I think because of the way that they used to do casting and everything. And I actually didn't even audition for this show because I was at another party and got into it with somebody and got into a physical fight. Oh, my God. Yeah, but it was with my ex-girlfriends at the time. Her boyfriend seen me. Uh, I, something happened and we he ended up taking me outside and punching me in the face. Anyway, oh. right after that, this is the thing. Anyways. Right, but hold on, right after that, like I get punched in the face. That weekend I get strep throat, but I had a black eye. Perfect timing to be like sick, you know? So I didn't get to audition for Macbeth. So, but I had been in all the other shows. This is like my senior year. I've been in all the other shows, the big shows, to the point where the the drama teacher, the the, the guy who put on the shows, was like, "All right, man, like you didn't audition, but like I trust you. I know that you'll come in and do what you need to do." And I was like, "Oh, perfect," because I was out of school for like a week or two. Okay. So I missed it. So this was right before. I want to say right before spring break. There was a cast party. Anybody knows at the end of a show, there's always a cast party. Yes. Even right. in high school. And Everyone dinner. makes out. It's yeah. Weird. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's another story. Okay. But <laughs> from there, um, I remember my homeboy, Zach. I totally remember him <laughs> still, like, being in character. And, like, I mean, just, like... <sighs> like stoic and just like just like in it going for it right but you had all of us around so there's different groups of everybody but Zach is just in the corner and he's just 
But then you had this one, this one girl. Her name was Ariel. She's so funny. It was one of my good friends growing up. She was looking at Zach, just stand there in the corner. And she is laughing so incredibly hard. And I mean, her, st like, her stomach was hurting. It was the ugliest face. Like, ah, ah, ah pointing while Zach is just having a moment. There's so much chaos. You know my friend Eris, right? Uh -huh. So my friend Eris is there because he was in a show as well. And I'm laughing at him stand in the corner, just like do his whole like Macbeth thing. Like the show's over, dog. Like let it go. Oh, to Ariel in the corner <laughs> laughing at him by herself, hunched over, climbing over furniture to get to him as he walks away. Me and Eris are on the floor on the floor laughing. Mind you, I will laugh hard and my stomach will hurt, but I'll, I never get to the point where tears come out. And I wish I felt it more. Shane, you go there all the time. And I'm like, I'm just waiting for a tear. Y'all, I looked up and then this one other guy like that I didn't really like, <laughs> he comes over with his shirt buttoned the wrong way. <laughs> And I mean, so buttoned the wrong way to the point where oh. it just took me over the edge, y'all. I could not breathe. There was so much, like I was stimulated in so many different ways and then also happy that his shirt was buttoned the wrong way to the point where I just started to bawl from laughter. When I tell you, it was like so many different, like just, ah, oh, it felt so good. <laughs> y'all, I have not laughed at heart since. That was my senior year of high school, oh but it was one of the stupidest things that I've ever experienced yes, in my life. I get it. Because Zach continuously the whole night was just acting like he was in this like character that was like, dog, like you you're he, not he seeing ghost. Like, yes. He was Macbeth. But it took him to it took him <laughs> to be out of the show to start being method. It's like dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, like now you're seeing. He's like, stuff. now I'm gonna get into character. Yeah, it's like, bro, we've done the show. Let it go. Get over it. But oh. from Ario laughing, me and Eris on the floor from the other guy's shirt just being button wrong like three different buttons <laughs> the best but also the most stupidest thing that i've experienced at a party i wish i could go back right now just to feel that 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 energy that God. i felt that's my goal now to make you laugh so hard we're gonna make you laugh so hard you cry Please, i would i would really love that the first person to do it will get a hundred dollars i just know that all i have to do is hundred once if i button my shirt wrong <laughs> no it. it's not that easy be i think it was because bad. it was the whole it was everything all at once because that would not usually make me laugh that no, hard it was be, it was the overstimulation yeah of it was just like and then your shirt get your shirt together <laughs> dumbass <laughs> like i know you got you got your belly poking out on one side and then the other side is covering up your penis. You know, <laughs> like, what the hell? Like, pick a side. Are you trying to show skin or are you not? Like, that was my whole... Pick a side. <laughs> that was like, I didn't know. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, Great times. Damn. Wow. Spring break. Spring break. <laughs> Spring break unlocked so much. For those listening, uh... Be safe out there. Party safely. Yeah. Yeah. No, seriously. Party safely. Don't, don't do any of the stupid things that, we've just that talked we did. About. Listen to this and think, I won't do that. Uh, yeah. Look, or... I ain't one of them. Y'all have fun. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I knew Brandy, that too. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Have fun. When you get Hennessy and Coke, you got to drink it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, Shane. Sorry, Shane. Okay. How, how was that hangover, though? It was pretty bad. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you, Keith O'Brien Leak. The, the second. Kid. The Irishman. Yes. Yes. I'm actually really sorry about that, though. That was, it was a great it time. It was a great, great experience. I loved it. Well, it's can you actually story. text me back next time I try to party with you and yeah. me and my black friends? Yeah. <laughs> like, you guys got to do this later. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't be involved. I'm just, I've never texted him to hang out again. Uh, Bye. <laughs> Psst. Psst. Bye-bye. Sorry, you Smosh mouth, smosh, mosh mouth. Smosh, mosh, mosh, mosh.